Yo, 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 what's good? It's your boy J Mo, man. This is the Hustle Corner once again. And in this video, I want to talk to I want to talk to the barbers. You know, I'm a barber as myself. I'm not a licensed barber. I'm actually gonna take the state test. As soon as I sign up to take the test, I, I'll say within two weeks, I'll, I'll probably go ahead and, you know, go ahead and pay my fee and go take that test. But anyways, this video is for the barbers and why it's it's vital, you know, for you to get an LLC for your barbering business. Uh, a single member LLC, of course, is, you know, it's, ju it's just you. Um, you know, this is obviously for, you know, for barbers who, who um, you know, contract from a barber shop. You know, they pay whatever, you know, they pay uh, whatever, 100 bucks a week to cut out a shop. So, you know, I know maybe some of the barbers may have a DBA. Um, and so therefore they're, um, they fall under sole proprietor and, uh, that's, that's, uh, you don't really get any benefits with sole proprietorship. You're going to, like I said, you're going to have to at least be a single member LLC and up to really tap into, you know, uh, these benefits that the big corporations get, you know, just call them corporate benefits, you know, and uh, a DBA just isn't good enough. Um, man, there are so many reasons, uh, one of the first reasons is once you create this LLC, now you have created separation from yourself. You know, for me, I'm Jeremy, and then I have OSF Cuts LLC. OSF Cuts LLC is its own entity. It has its own social security. You know, it's called the EIN, and, and it's its own person. It's its own entity, and I'm my own person. Now, you know, um, two things I want to talk about is for, you know, for loans, from the banks or wherever you're getting your loans from and two is um you know protection from the courts now let's say you cut somebody with a razor and they sue you you know or they sue you know your company well you've created separation by having your llc so they're gonna win because you messed up and you cut them but they're not gonna be able to tap in to to your resources, to the things that you own. They can only, you know, mess with that, uh, you know, what, what that LLC has, what, what it owns, you know, what it what it produces. As far as like, let's say I own a home, they, you know, they, they can't touch that. Let's say I own, you know, stocks, I own, you know, some other properties, intellectual property, royalties, let's say I own what whatever, they can't touch that. You know, another big, big thing is, you know, I, like I said, I'm a barber myself, so I know a lot of barbers, right? And a common thing, and I mean common, I mean, man, I want to say 100% really, because I really don't know. I'm sure there is, but I don't know any barbers that are doing it this way. And it's not because it's not the way to do it. It's because, you know, lack of education, you know, financial, you know, illiteracy. Um, and that's, they don't claim all their income on their taxes and the reason being is to pay less taxes right to avoid paying taxes i want to keep my money and it's like you know that's self-explanatory that's obvious why you know they would do it but the thing is if you create an llc then you get to tap into like i said all these you know big corporate corporate uh benefits and you're going to get all these write-offs you can essentially write everything off and, you know, maybe pay nothing or little to nothing, you know, get you a good CPA. Like I said, certified public accountant, make sure you got one on the team because that's important. But you get you a good CPA, you tap in, you get your LLC, you write everything off and it's going to offset what you're supposed to pay in taxes, which would be what, 20 percent, 21 percent. For that's sole proprietor. Actually, sole proprietors get taxed even more. You know, LLC, I believe it's at 21%. It can go all the way up to a single member LLC can actually go all the way up to 40%. But that's it depends what bracket of income you're at. You know, chances are you're, you're not going to be at 40. Let's just say you're at 25. All those write-offs will offset it. And essentially, you will pay no taxes. Now, an even bigger, you know, benefit of doing it this way is not only are you still not paying taxes, but guess what, man? You claim it all your income on paper is real. The truth is on paper. So if you ever want to go to the banks and you want to get a, you know, maybe just want a car, 
Maybe you want to buy a home for your family or maybe, you know, maybe you're a businessman and you're getting ready to go buy you a commercial property. You think you can do that without with having the documents saying that there's only half of your money there? You, you think, well, you know, that's what it says here, but I have this much cash. Like, no, bro, you're, you're, you're looking sus suspect already. You know what I'm saying? The banks need to trust you. So you do it this way and you claim everything and you're as good as gold. I don't even cut at a barbershop myself. I cut where I live. I've made a room downstairs and I've been building there for three years, you know, learning to cut and all that. And <laughs> I don't have great location. Um, I don't have great location. I depend on 0% on walk-ins. And I, 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 you know, I built it pretty well. My point is the person who does work at a barbershop, maybe at the most popping barbershop, and he makes uh, just as much as me, or maybe he makes more than me. But he's not claiming his shit. He's do he don't have an LLC. He's, he's, you know, getting over on the IRS and avoiding paying taxes and being smart, or at least they think that, right? Um, if we both go to the bank and we go to the banker, bro, like, guess who's going to look a whole lot healthier? Guess who's going to look a whole lot more trustworthy? Guess who's probably going to get the loan? And I know this because I cut bankers and I've developed some relationships with some bankers. And, uh, you know, I won't get too too much further, but um, I know, you know, I know I'm not I'm not just speaking. I'm, I'm speaking off of experience. So get you an LLC, bro. You no, know, I've heard it. I've heard it. I've talked to, you know, I have. I got a couple of barber friends, you know, and, and we can connect and we speak on these things. And that's a common that's a common problem that, you know, barbers are like, oh, you know, like they make real good money. Oh, you know, by the way, side note, you know, you go Google, what do barbers make? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, Google. Yeah, Google's not laced up. But anyways, you know, these barbers make really, really, really good money. And it's like they can't they can't go get that home they want or, you know, they have to they have to do things They're making things harder on themselves, thinking that they're winning, but they really losing. This isn't this isn't a competitive, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, compete or, you know, belittle or anything. Like that. I'm just trying to educate because, you know, these are things that one that I've researched and that I've took action and I've applied and I'm getting the benefits and I'm just trying to pass it on. But yeah, man, you know, those are a couple of reasons why if you are a barber, you're an independent contractor, you need an LLC and you need to start playing the real money game. You know, America is a corporation, so it's time to get corporate if you really want to enjoy what the American dream is. You know, let's not be fooled and think that, you know, what I'm saying having a lot of cash in your pocket. You know, or having a you know a nice ride that you're you know making payments on, or, or or whatever the case it is. That's that is not the American dream. You know, you might have been sold that, and you that you know was sold well, but that's not what it is, man. We can create real wealth and business. You know, running a, a, a you know an efficient business, man. That, there's really no better income generating, you know, um, you know thing to do business. So, yeah, man. So, yeah, it's your boy J-Mo. This is the Hustle Corner by OSF. You know what I'm saying? Old school flow, whatever. Um, Please, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to build this channel up. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> so, let's get me to my 1,000 subscribers so I can go ahead and add another stream of income. You know, more game. You can do it too, you know. But um, also, man, on the, on the music, man, Please go down to the description. If you got Spotify, follow our playlist, please. You know, I really appreciate it. And also, um, I'm going to put a link down there to where if you download, if you click the link from Robinhood, you can sign up, make a free account, uh, and then you'll get a free stock worth up to, I forgot what it is, like up to $1,000. And it's free. You know, you don't got to do nothing. And I'm going to get one too, so you'll be looking out. But yeah, man, so um, yeah, let's, let's build this well together, y'all. It's your boy J-Mo, Hustle Corner. I'm out.